What's up everyone, Anwar thinks back once again and as you can see and probably here today, I'm in a different location, I'm in Leicester for the Leicester Comedy Festival, Europe's longest running comedy festival and I've been selected for something called Circuit Breakers put on by the Big Difference Company in conjunction with Union Jack Radio. Now if you're not familiar with what Circuit Breakers is, I'll quickly fill you in. It's where they go around the UK and they select a few different up-and-coming comedians to put on a big show together. So we're putting on two shows, one tonight, the Friday, and one on the Saturday. It's something I've been really, really looking forward to for a long time. It's a chance to get a feel for the festival, get a little bit of a rub from it, with the hopes, personally, that I can come back in the future and put on a full-length show here down the road. A lot of people are always saying to me, listen, you do your WrestleMania vlogs, you do your card talks, why don't we see more comedy vlogs? And I thought, what better time than this weekend coming to the Leicester Comedy Festival? Something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to take you around with you, show you maybe a little bit of the behind the scenes stuff, show you a little bit of the on stage stuff, and hey, let's see what happens. And while I'm sat waiting around for the gig, I might as well show you the hotel I'm staying in, the room. This is the Gresham Hotel, and I'll be honest with you, for a council estate lad from Farm of Bolton, it's a little bit swanky for me, but hey, I'm not complaining. You can see the clothes are already out and lined up. If you see my WrestleMania vlogs, you know that I don't put my clothes out usually. They all just sit all crumpled and creased in my suitcase usually, but because it's two big gigs that I'm really looking forward to, I've actually put them out. I'm hoping that the creases fall out, but we do have an iron down there, which I may need to break out and put to some use. Got a nice sofa. Look, I've not made too much of a mess yet. We've got a nice mirror over here. Listen, you know what hotels like. Oh, but this is the big stuff here. We've got the Yeezys. We've got the Nike Air Flights, the Scotty Pippins down there. Which one will I wear tonight? Which one will I wear tomorrow? I'm not too sure yet. But hey, I am looking forward to it. Night one in the box, we did the circuit breakers at Peter Pizzeria. It went really well. I wanted to get a little bit more footage than I did get, but you know what it's like. Everyone's just meeting each other for the first time. I don't really want to put a camera in everyone's face, but tomorrow there's actually a, a lot going on. There's not just the circuit breakers, there's the Asian showcase, there's a bit of a media day, a breakfast, and then also a photo shoot. So there's a lot going on. Hopefully, I'll get more people in on it tomorrow. But I'm up and awake. So you want to see some rock and roll real life behind the scenes footage? Well, uh, this is pretty wild, but uh, you're about to see me iron a shirt. So we're having a photo shoot at XYZ Studios, Leicester, famous for its hardwood flooring and having a window. And it's very exciting. I'm wearing a horrible shirt because apparently I'm a porn actor from the 70s now. And we're doing, we're doing silly ones, we're doing serious ones, and we're doing ones like this to prove that we say it like it is. And that's my foot. Ha ha ha! Doors! 
like literally about to say like it is. Yeah, that's really nice to me. Okay, right. Back in the hotel, photo shoot over. I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes, they were watering. It was so cold in there. Maybe a little bit dusty as well. My allergies proper flared up. But all that aside, I really, really enjoyed the experience. All credit to Andy Hollingsworth. He made it very, very much a collaborative style thing. It wasn't a whole 2D, I'm behind the camera, you're in front of the camera, click, shoot, boom, next one. It was okay. What do you want from this? What what do you want to put across? What's your act like? How can we get that across in these pictures? And I, and I really, really enjoyed that. I thought it was good. I also really enjoyed speaking to the comedians when it was a bit of downtime. Someone else was getting their photos taken. Obviously, we're all stood around, you know, mingling, bonding, whatever you want to call it. But just the chat in between us, I really enjoyed it because this is a big weekend for all of us. And even though we're all kind of strangers, it's nice to be sharing it with somebody else. Next up, we've got a bit of a media scrum. Who am I? <laughs> yeah. No. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I'm Jo. J O. Good. <laughs> you can't say Union Jack Radio, but who is the greatest Jack of all time? Who's the greatest Jack? Jack Bauer from 24 is pretty cool because he's only got 24 hours to like save the president, which is kind of sweet. But he, but he keeps having 24 hours. He like, does. He does. <laughs> he does. He's not even <laughs> uses them well. He can do more than one. Have a lot of great ones, so it's really hard to. <laughs> To oh, Media scrum done now. This weekend is going mega, mega quick. There's just the two shows left, the Asian Showcase and the final Circuit Breakers of 2022. I've really enjoyed it so far. I'm looking forward to tonight. Right, we are down to your final act of the evening. You've been an absolutely wonderful audience. Thank you so much. Uh, your final act is Adam Anwar. He's absolutely wonderful. So for the final time this evening, with all the love in your heart, start clapping. Start cheering and welcome Adam Anwar! All right, I've been Adam Anwar, you lot have been fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed your night. Thank you very much. Go for it, go on. Oh, don't, don't go for it. No, 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 I want to have a fun night. Yeah, I don't. Right, it's 3am, I'm heading back to the hotel, it's late, UFC's about to start, I'll stick it on, get in bed, set an alarm for the morning, I've got a four hour train journey, but what a weekend it has been. I'm back in Bolton and it took me five hours. I cannot wait to get back in. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to get a few thoughts from some of the other circuit breakers. Before you get that, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below.
Ding that notification bell, that way every time I make a video, you, yes you, will be the first person to raise about it. With that, let's see what they had to say, eh? Hello, we're um, Plastic Jesus. We're back in sunny Bournemouth. It's beautiful. Hey. What was the um, best thing about Leicester Comedy Festival? Well, the comedy and the free pizza. The free pizza. When I also got a hotel breakfast, which is, you know, always a good thing. Gotta keep your priorities in line, right? <laughs> I mean, that was nice. It was nice pizza and comedy. And people. Of course, meeting everybody involved in Circuit Breakers. So that goes to me and my fellow Circuit Breakers. Oh, they were lovely. Just meeting lots of nice people who were also very good at comedy, which is a lovely coincidence. Left the Comedy Festival for putting it on and everyone involved in that, Charlotte, Jeff. It was also great to kind of get to, to gig with a lot of really, really hilariously funny people um, that are based kind of all around the UK that I wouldn't normally get to, to hang out with and be silly with. Union Jet Radio, they were great. It's getting to meet all the other comedians on the programme and they're all lovely, talented humans who you should definitely check out if you get the chance. Peter Speed Varia, Ishan for hosting the show. Meeting all the great people was just incredible. I'll be here all day if I'm thanking everybody. Got to have a photo shoot. Photo shoot with the legend that is Andy Hollingworth. We had Andy Hollingworth who was just, I think everyone agrees, he was just great with making us feel relaxed, having a nice conversation, showing all of his stuff that he's done in comedy. We had our photo taken at one point and I thought that was going to be horrible because I thought they were going to make me smile and do stuff like that and they didn't, not even once. So that was very wicked. We got to do some radio bits. With Union Jet Radio. Getting the opportunity to interview Adam Anwar. Lots of silliness happened at the media session. Got to perform in an amazing venue um, at a really cool festival. Gig was just awesome and everyone's fabulous. My work colleagues came to watch me. That's always fun. And then obviously the after party afterwards. My other highlight was probably just Leicester as a concept. Leicester's great. And you know, just walking around the place feeling like a proper comedian, which was bizarre, <laughs> but cool. It was also, you know, really, really lovely to kind of be treated as a legit stand-up. Go. Now. Right now. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>